My name is Shane Cicero and I'm with the Midwest Food Service Expo and I'm going to walk you through how to download the guide and some of the features for our mobile guide. This guide will actually replace your directory once you attend the expo. We've got a lot of cool and exciting things inside so why don't we take a look. First you'll want to follow one of the links that you've received uh, guidebook.com g everything food service 2016 and you will land at this landing page. Uh, you'll see our uh, logo, and if you're on an Android device, you'll automatically see the Google Play. If you're on an iTunes device, obviously it'll be in iTunes or directing you towards the Apple Store. And if you are on a desktop or a laptop, it'll actually give you an option to enter your phone number to send a text where you can automatically direct you uh, towards either the Google Play or the uh, App Store. So what we're going to do now, uh, because we're on this wonderful landing page, we're going to click the Google Play and it will direct us directly towards uh, installing the guide. Uh, once you land here, you'll just want to hit install. Uh, you can certainly go through uh, the um, permissions and see what it's looking for. You can hit accept and we'll allow this to download momentarily. Once the guide has fully installed, you'll click on the open button. Uh, you can certainly choose to sign up with Facebook or you can sign up with an email. Um, we'll just go through and do that. Now once you are in the guidebook, what you'll need to do um, is enter uh, Midwest, you'll actually just have to search for us, uh, and there we are. So type Midwest or Food Service Expo, and once you see us, you'll go ahead and uh, select Get This Guide. And then the guide has started to download. Uh, once it's downloaded, you'll actually come to this uh, home page screen within the guide, and you're all set. All of the information for the expo is right within this guide. Now in the upper corner here, you'll see a uh, three little bars, and that's actually the menu. Oh, and there I am, already logged in and ready to go. Uh, you will actually want to go to uh, log in, and... Um, there will actually be an option right at the top where you can log in and you will want to um, enter all of your information so then that way uh, once you are logged in you can use the attendees feature. The attendees feature is actually a really cool feature that allows you to connect with other people who have already downloaded the guide as well and you can then connect with them to send messages, other content, you can connect with your friends, maybe an exhibitor who has uh, shared some information with you, you want to stay connected, you can certainly use the guide to send messages and stay connected while you're at the expo. Um, one of the cool features that we have this year uh, with the guide is our new products on the market. You can actually select here and you can see all of the new products that we have listed uh, at the expo. So you can take a look and see uh, something specific. Uh, you can click on that. It'll give you an explanation and uh, it'll also show you the booth number in which uh, they are hosting or exhibiting the product. Another great feature uh, from any one of these screens you can go right back to the menu guide and it'll actually bring you right to this slide out menu. We have exhibitors, uh, obviously your messaging once you've connected with attendees, the schedule, uh, if you're looking for a restaurant while you're in the Milwaukee area, we've got all of our WRA member restaurants located uh, within a five to 10 mile radius of the expo. So some great dining opportunities all right there. Uh, we have our inbox, so your messages will show up here. Uh, looks like there was one already sent about 10, reminding us that the expo is about 10 days out back on the 25th. This is where all of your messages from the expo will show up 
Any push notifications will show up here as well. We have our maps. So if you're curious where something is, you can certainly go here and zoom in and see where you're at and where you're going, so to speak. There's something over in the Something Special from Wisconsin Pavilion, and maybe you are all the way over here at the questions and answers, which is at the front of the entrance. Uh, you now know how to guide yourself on over to that. Or maybe you want to just get over to the beer garden, or you're looking to see the food trucks. Maybe you want to learn a little bit more about workforce solutions and how you can uh, increase uh, your staffing needs and options there. Um, so that is the maps. We go back here. And then we have all of our social media channels available to you right within the app as well. Uh, what you will need to do is once you connect, you will need to connect your social media. But then uh, once you got that connected, you'll be able to engage right with our pages, our Twitter feed, same thing. Uh, the cool thing about the Twitter is you can actually uh, drop down to our hashtags and you can get in on the conversation, see what's trending on those hashtags, or you can actually select us and tweet directly to us. Maybe something interesting, something taking place. We certainly encourage uh, the social conversation. Uh, we actually have some contests taking place on our Instagram feed, so we recommend logging in there and uh, checking out the things going on on our Instagram feed. This is actually a great opportunity and a contest, so you might want to log in and find out a little bit more about that. One of the things that we probably want to go up to is to talk about the exhibitors list. This is a great way. Maybe you met uh, someone at an exhibitor's booth, but you forgot their information. We've got it all right here for you. Uh, their address, sales information, emails, and a website that you can certainly go and contact. Um, you can also add this to your to-do list, and then it'll remind you to visit Afrofusion Cuisine. We'll do add. And then when we go over here to the to-do list, it'll show that is on your to-do list for the day. So another great feature is our schedule, and this actually houses all of the stuff that we have taking place Monday, opening day of the show. There are some all-day events, and there are some scheduled events. So you'll see these throughout, and you can click into one of these and learn a little bit more about it. So maybe you want to know how to get noticed in a noisy marketplace. You can here, go here, you'll see the speaker information, you'll learn a little bit more about the presentation right in here, some of the key points covered, and if they have any um, PDFs or uh, materials attached, you'll find them right down here in the forms. And then after your seminar, you can also hit the Expo Survey, and you can take a short survey to let us know how the presenter did, whether you found the content valuable, or if there was maybe something you didn't like, or maybe there was something you thought they really should have covered. You can then create in my schedule, right? Let's go back here to the uh, schedule. So things that you want to attend, you can certainly build out your schedule. You can add um, reminders. So say you want a 15 minute reminder before uh, this event takes place you can certainly do so and you will get a notification that will show up up here um, about 15 minutes before that you have that event coming up. You can also then look at your schedule and you will see that it's right there ready for you. Maybe you want to make some changes or learn a little bit more, you can certainly do so. One of the nice features about this too is that if you want you can take notes right within the app just like this We'll say, great way to take notes. We'll save it. So if you want to share your notes, you can always go uh, right here to the share button. And then you can do the same thing and share out uh, through one of these uh, other apps. So you can send them to your Gmail. Uh, maybe you have an email connected to your phone. Um, or maybe you want to share them with someone through your Facebook Messenger. Uh, one of those great options to try there. We'll close out of this. 
At the end, we would certainly like you to go through and fill out the Expo survey. Just four simple questions, just asking uh, for your information and input on what your thoughts were of the Expo. So that is a little overview of how to download the app and uh, some of the great features all right within the app. I hope this was helpful and useful, and we look forward to seeing you at the Expo.